It's Mandy. Okay. Now can you hear us? Okay. Now can you hear us? Okay. We're going to go. Downward facing dog. We're just going to start flowing now. And I will teach to Miss Lena. Okay. Yes. She's going to go on. Okay. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Take a big breath in. Come up onto your tippy toes. Exhale. Bend the knees. Step the feet to meet the hands. Inhale. Halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And inhale, rise up. Grab the right wrist. Grab the left wrist. Take a side bend to the right. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, through center. Palms touch, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Either fingertips to the floor or palms to your shins. Plant the hands, step back. Pause in the first plank. Take a breath in, turn the legs on, squeeze the belly in and up, look forward just ever so slightly. And then lower halfway or all the way down to the mat. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. And inhale up onto the tippy toes. Exhale, bend the knees, step the feet to meet the hands, halfway lift, forward fold, inhale rise, exhale, grab the left wrist, side bend to the right, inhale through center, exhale, switch sides, inhale through center, and exhale, forward fold. Head up, inhale. Step back, chaturanga. Either lowering all the way to the mat for cobra or pushing into up or facing dog as you inhale. Exhale, down or facing dog. Do one more sun salutation. Inhale, come up onto the tippy toes. Empty the breath, bend the knees, step or float, feet to hands. Halfway lift, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, center. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, through center. Exhale, forward fold. Lengthen the spine, breathe in. Step or float back. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, up onto the tippy toes. Bend the knees, empty the breath, step or float. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Inhale to rise. Exhale, side bend to the right. Through center, breathe in. To the left, breathe out. Inhale through center. Samastitihi, arms by your sides. Okay, now I will teach. Bend the knees deeply, sweep the arms up, chair pose. Squeeze the navel into the spine. See if you can sit down a little bit lower. Now bring your hands to your heart center. And then exhale, hands back by your sides for a lightning chair. I'm just going to give us a little bit more room here. There we go. Okay. Come up onto your tippy toes. And then sit deeper. A little bit deeper. Yes, sit a little tiny bit deeper. Good. One more breath in. Full exhale here. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Good <laughs> your inhale, stand and reach. And exhale, forward fold. Lengthen the spine halfway. Inhale. Step or float back. Chaturanga. Exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Right leg rises, inhale. Stop, open, bend, heel in toward the glute leg. Bring the heel closer to the butt. Good. Inhale, three legged dog. Uh huh. Exhale, knee to your nose. So shift forward. My. Okay. Okay, warrior one. I'm just going to sit here and watch. <laughs> Good. See if you can have room to take a little bit deeper bend in the front knee. Make sure the knee is angling out toward the pinky toe edge of that front foot. And then you're rooting into the pinky toe edge of the back foot. Good. Stay connected to the breath. Take one more inhale. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg rises, inhale. Stack. Open, bend. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. So shift forward into plank, round the spine. Touch it, make something connect. And now look forward. Plant the foot down, warrior one. Side ribs are squeezing into each other. Yes. Fill up one more time. Exhale, hands all the way to the mat. Chaturanga. Inhale to your back bend. Exhale to your down dog. Inhale up onto the tippy toes. Bend the knees, empty the breath. Step or float to meet your hands. And halfway lift. Forward fold. Bend the knees deeply. Inhale, chair pose. Take another breath in. Exhale to stand. Top of the mat. Hands by your side. Inhale, sweep the arms back up. Chair. Exhale, forward fold. I'll try this with you. Pick up the left foot. Step it to the back of the mat for a crescent lunge. Arms come up. Breathe in. So strong the back leg here, like the back of the knee is coming up toward the ceiling. There's a deep bend in the right knee. Side ribs are squeezing in toward one another like you have a corset sucking your ribs in. Take another breath in. And then as you exhale, straighten the front leg, bring the hands down. So you're coming to a modified pyramid pose. It's a lot lighter than we're used to and the back heel is up here. Start to walk the fingertips forward, deep bend in the right knee, standing split. So the left leg comes all the way up to the ceiling. See if you can walk your hands back closer to that right foot. And one day work to bring the forehead toward the knee. Left leg lifts just a little bit higher. And exhale forward, full. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold. Right leg lifts. Step it to the back of the mat. Crescent lunge, inhale. Two more breaths. Inhale. As you exhale, straighten the front leg. Both hands come down, framing the left foot, and the back heel stays lifted. Start to bend the left knee, walk the fingertips forward, and then kick up, standing split. Again, relax the neck, work to bring the forehead toward the knee, or toward the shin. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees deeply, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. 
Left foot picks up, step it to the back of the mat. We'll move one breath, one movement now. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, modified pyramid. Inhale, standing split. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, chair pose, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Right foot steps back, inhale, crescent. Exhale, pyramid. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Left side, step it back. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, pyramid. Standing split. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Right foot picks up, back of the mat. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, pyramid. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, standing, samasthiti. Oh, tricked you. <laughs> Take a vinyasa. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, forward fold. Lengthen the spine, inhale, sub or float back to Twari, exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale to your back bend, exhale to your down dog. Take a full breath in and the breath out. Inhale up to the tippy toes, bend the knees, empty the breath, travel to the top of the mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Forward fold, breathe out. Inhale, stand and reach. Exhale, chair pose. It's like leg day at the gym. Now take your hands behind your low back in this chair pose. Interlock your fingers. And then take a shoulder opener. Send the hips back a little bit past your heels. And then try to come up onto the tippy toes. Keep pushing the hands to the back of the room, opening the shoulders as much as you can. Take another breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Keep the bind if you can. And then relax the neck. You might shake the body. Wiggle your hips side to side. Keep working to bring the palms to touch with your hands if you can. Okay, bend the knees deeply, keep the hands as they are, inhale, rise up, hands by your side, exhale, inhale, sweep the arms up, exhale, forward fold, okay, left leg picks up, standing splits, so now you might be a little bit more warmed up. See if you can work the left leg just a little bit higher. And maybe take one or both hands behind the left, the right ankle, sorry. <laughs> okay, gracefully, like you're moving through molasses, you'll start to send the left leg to the back of the room, plant the toes down or coming up into a crescent lunge. And then this time, take the right hand, bring it behind your back, see if you can grab the left thigh, like the hamstring, the thigh, the glute, whatever you can grab. And then re-square the shoulders to the front, re-bend the right knee, take a back bend. Releasing the right hand, spin the back heel down, open the arms wide, warrior two. 
So wide stance with the legs here. Again, the knee is angling out toward the pinky toe edge of the foot, of the right foot. And then root firmly into the back edge of the left foot. Flip the front palm, reverse your warrior as you inhale. Take the left hand into a bind, so you're wrapping the low back. And then your drishti could either be down at your back foot or up at your top hand, just depending on your neck. Inhale to prepare. And then exhale, start to reach to the front of the room. Keep the bind. You're coming into a bound, balancing half moon. So if you can keep the left hand behind the back, try that variation. Otherwise, just let it go. It doesn't matter. And then maybe you try floating the bottom hand. Hips are stacking directly on top of one another. One more inhale. Exhale to a forward fold. Mm, squeeze it in tight. Maybe wrap the hands behind the ankles and pull your forehead in between your knees. Mm. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Your left leg comes up, standing split. Right leg. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right leg comes up, standing split. <laughs> this is why I have friends. <laughs> Forehead toward the knee. Right leg up just a hair higher. Just another little bit higher. And then slow as you can, step it to the back of the mat. With so much control, so much strength. Inhale, arms come up, crescent lunge. Left hand comes to the right thigh. Shoulder square. Rebend the left knee if you lost it, and then open the chest, take a gentle back bend. Release the left hand, send it to the front of the room, warrior two. So this is super cool. Okay. <laughs> We're still in warrior two, and I'm still learning how to use my phone. Because for five minutes, I've been here. <laughs> <laughs> She's lying. <laughs> okay, flip the front palm, reverse your warrior, inhale. Right hand wraps behind the back. Take the bind. See if you have room just a little tiny bit deeper. Reach a little. I'm so sorry. I must have no internet today. <laughs> okay, so you're in a bound, balancing half moon. Play with maybe floating the bottom hand. And then if you're floating the bottom hand, just lift the, lift the chest higher. Ooh. Oh, my hips popped. Oh, yeah. <laughs> next, next time we'll go to a coffee shop. Okay, deep forward fold. Maybe separate the feet, bring your forehead between the knees a little bit. Yeah. Or just imagine that one day your forehead will touch the knees. Good. All right, halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, stand and reach. And then step the feet back together. Exhale, arms by your sides. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to the mat, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Plant the hands, step or float back, chaturanga. Ooh. Upward facing dog. <laughs> Downward facing dog. Inhale, come up onto the tippy toes. Bend the knees, empty the breath. Float the feet to meet the hands. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, chair. Okay, I'm going to try this one more time to do it with her because I want to practice so bad. <laughs> okay. Hands to your heart center. Hover the left foot. Straighten the left leg. Drop the left heel down to the floor and then hinge your body forward. Maybe the arms come back so you're like energetically pushing the floor away. 
Lift the chest. Hold a little bit deeper. And then take the right hands to the pinky toe edge of the left foot. You're going to work the open arm twist here. So the left arm stays open and reaching. Try to open the shoulders. Look back to the left hand. Exhale, come back through center. Hands to heart center. Left knee comes up. So you're in a chair with the left knee lifted. And then just like before, very slowly, start to send it to the back of the room. All the way back, all the way back. And now you're in a crescent lunge, but you're hinging and reaching forward. Relax the back of the neck. Sit a little bit deeper into the right knee. Keep reaching, 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 reaching. And now restack the shoulders over the hips. Take goal post arms. Hey neighbor. And then hover the back knee. Hover, hover, hover. Like if you hadn't shaved your legs for a couple weeks, they would just stick right through your little moments and touch the floor. Release it down. <laughs> and then drop the hips forward and down into a low lunge. You might start with taking both hands to the right knee. And maybe you can kick up your left heel, like bring the heel to the glute, and then take the left hand to that heel. Not the heel, the foot. So you're on the inside edge of the foot. Right arm comes up. If it's too much to grab the back leg, don't grab the back leg. It's that simple, you guys. Last breath in, look up. Oops, gently, not like me, gently release the back foot. Plant the hands inside the right leg. Okay, so you're coming into kind of prep for a lizard, but tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, and then rock your weight front to back again. If you were here in the beginning, when it was super awkward, um, this, is, this is how we started. Okay, now walk the right foot forward a little bit more. Chaturanga the arm, so you're bringing the hands behind the heel. And then you could just work a little bit deeper into your lizard. You could drop the back knee down. And if you wanted to play with an arm balance, you could play with running man Chaturanga the arms. Shimmy toe the right foot up. You got this, yeah? <laughs> I've never done it. You've never done running man. No. Okay. No. Well, so, so this leg, this back leg is lifted up. I don't know about that. <laughs> so you've got to bring the left hip to the left elbow. Okay. Shimmy to the right foot out of the way. Lean forward like you're going to fall on your face. Tuck the back toes under, lift the knee up. Lift your feet up. Look up, look forward. Lift oh. your head up. Yes. First time running man. Okay, downward facing dog. How fun is that? Wow. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> Wiggle the hips. Let something go. Like just detach of whatever that just was. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Inhale up onto the toe. Empty the breath. Step or float. Feet to hands. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Inhale chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. Shift your weight to the left foot. Hover the right. Straighten the right leg. Put the right heel down. Hinge. And then reach your arms back. Left hand, pick your toe side of the right foot. Take your twist. So it's a lot of core activation here to hold this twist. Uddiyana Bandha, Nula Bandha. Like, get out of your muscles. Use your bandhas. Inhale back through chair. Take the right foot with you. And then send it to the back of the room. Crescent lunge. And this time we're reaching. So let the hips be buoyant as you're reaching here. Notice if the hips are dropped, lift the hips up, squeeze the belly in and up. Restack the shoulders over the hips, goal post arms. And then hover that right knee. A little bit lower. Oh no. 
Thank you, Lena. Thank you. A little bit lower. And all the way down to the mat. Hips come forward and down, so you're sitting up for the low lunge. <clears throat> Bring both hands to the left thigh. And then push the chest open. Keep relaxing into the hips. Okay, we can just keep doing that. You keep going. Okay, <laughs> we'll just keep going. And then try, play with taking the right heel back to the glutes. Reach the right hand back. Grab the foot. So I like to grab on the big toe side of the foot. And then maybe the left hand comes up and you take a back bend. And both hands are going to come plant inside the left foot. Okay. And then walk the left foot forward a little bit more. Pick up the back knee, start to rock the hips front to back. Okay, and then walk the left knee forward a little bit more. Chaturanga the arms. You could drop into lizard and rest here, or you could join us and play playing with the arm balance. Pick up the back knee. <laughs> you, really, the, you have faith in me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then you're going to lift your head, look forward. Now this leg will lift up. And then the back. Lift. So you need to bring the Wait. right hip to the right elbow. So send your weight forward. Okay. Connect the right hip to the right elbow. Oh, got you. Mm -hmm. okay. So you have something to balance on. Let me go forward. Well, that's what I do. Wow. Some people can use their muscles and like not have to use That's what arms. I did on the other side. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, lift your leg up. I don't know. Lift girl. your leg up. I don't think I can do that. <laughs> you okay. do it. Okay, I'll do it. Oh, like that. Yes, Woo! like that. That was our facing dog. <laughs> How are we on a okay, picnic? We're play with it. All right. Take a huge breath in. <sighs> Open the mouth, say it out. <laughs> Again, big breath in. Big breath out. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, come up onto the tippy toes. Bend the knees, empty the breath. Step or float your feet through your hands, like you're coming into boat pose. So right through your hands. So that again. <laughs> we'll just we'll just come into boat. So on this variation, I want you to just bring your hands to your sides and use your hands to push hard into your leg. Lift the chest high. So equal pressure with your hands into your thighs. Okay, now bring both hands to the left thigh. Okay. And then take your right hand across the body to the left pinky toe edge of the foot. Right hand, well, left, sorry, left hand opens to the back of the room. So the bottom leg is hovering. Again, you're using so much core. Open, twist, look to your back hand. Notice if that, if that left leg is coming across the body, try to keep opening it toward the left. Sit a little bit taller. Then inhale back through center. Hands to thighs. I hope we're still there. <laughs> okay, hands to thighs. All right, and then take the left hand to the pinky toe wedge of the right foot. Straighten the left leg. Straighten the right leg. Lift the chest and the shoulders together. Look back to the back hand. And then notice that this is trying to cross the body. One more breath. Inhale back through chair. Not chair. Boat. <laughs> this is not chair. This, this, this is chair not sitting on your bottom. This is not chair pose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, inhale, low boat. Straighten the legs, hover the chest for three, two, one. Release to the mat. Mm, inhale, take the arms long above your head, interlock your fingers, point your toes. Take a huge breath in and the breath out. 
And you bring your heels in towards your glutes. I'm going to set up for bridge pose. Arms by your sides. And then if you're turning to watch this, I would just listen. So I want no turning of the neck when we're working back bend. Okay. Inhale, lift the hips up. And then root into the heels so you can lift the hips a little bit higher. Like push into your feet to lift the hips. And now shimmy your, elbow, your shoulders together so they come a little bit underneath. And you can interlock the fingers, take the bind here. right leg into center so shimmy to the right foot so that it's a little bit more in the midline and then lift the left leg up to the ceiling good and so the foot is flexed here like you're going to stamp uh flex that's pointed flex okay so inhale lift lower the hips just a little bit and then exhale lift the hips stamp the foot to the ceiling inhale lower exhale lift inhale lower Exhale, lift. Two more, lower, lift, lower, lift, hold, lift the hips higher, 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 higher. For three, two, oh I know, cross the ankle over the knee, send the hips down. So you're taking thread the needle. So have you reach your arms through that leg, you'll either grab behind the knee or you'll grab the calf. So it's going to be right hand outside this. Right hand outside the right knee, left hand still on as you guys can see this. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thread the needle. If that doesn't make sense, take any hip stretch that you want. To take it a little bit deeper, I'm going to have you angle the right knee toward the right and then bring it closer to the right shoulder. Is that your right or your left? Right, right, okay. Try to work your tailbone to the mat. So you're rooting through your tailbone and through the back of your head to keep the neck soft here. Notice if the mind starts to wander as you start to calm the body down. You don't have to change it from wandering, just notice. Just notice what's coming up. I'm going to prepare to switch sides, so release from your thread the needle pose. Plant both heels down, setting up for bridge pose. Arms are by your sides. Inhale, lift the hips. Again, rooting into the feet, trying to lift the hips a little bit higher. Shimmy your shoulders together. And then take the bind. So hands will come down, interlock your fingers. Bring the hands down to the mat. Okay, walk the left heel into the center of the mat, lift the right leg up. Lift the hips a little bit higher if you care. Okay, ready? Inhale, lower the hips. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Lower. Lift. Lower. Lift and hold for three, two, one. Cross the knee over the ankle. Bring the hips back down to the mat and reach through and thread the needle. So again, you can grab behind the knee into that little crease, or you can grab on top of the shin. And then once you have it, try to pull the knee to the left just a hair and closer into the left shoulder as you release the tailbone to the mat. And start to detach from all the work you just did. Detach from any expectations, from any stories. Know that even as the, the teacher, we're always having to detach from whatever just happened. All of the frustrations of learning how to use Instagram Live. Internet connections. 
there's always something to walk through. There's always a lesson to be learned and a different way, maybe a different perspective or a different way of showing up for yourself. Okay, release from thread the needle comes a happy baby. So feet come up to the ceiling or to the sky, grabbing either behind the knees if you need to or the outer edges of the feet. Thank you, Lena. Yeah. And then pull the knees in closer to the floor. Again, keep rooting the tailbone down to the floor and the back of the head down. And go ahead and squeeze both knees to the chest. Drop the knees to the right. So you're taking a gentle spinal twist. The arms open up to a T. And the head will drop to the opposite side only if it's okay in the neck. Okay. For a deeper spinal twist, you'll take the knees closer into the chest. center and then drop them to the left to the other to the other side whatever side you're not on stay for three more of your own breaths the knees back through center. Give yourself a squeeze. So we'll squeeze the knees into the chest and then rock up to a seated position. Okay, take Baddha Konasana feet. So this is also called butterfly. Baddha Konasana. So the feet touch and the knees fall apart. And then my offering here would be to walk the forearms under the ankles <coughs> so that the palms Okay, so we're connected, we're in body. There's Lena. Soles of the feet together, the forearms are under the ankles and the palms are face up. And if you want to take it a little bit deeper, you can kind of shimmy the arms forward. <clears throat> And try to pull the chest through just a little bit deeper again. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have you gently come out of this. So release the forearms from under the ankles. And then very slowly start to stack the shoulders over the hips again. I'm going to take you to a seated meditation. So however that's comfortable for you, half lotus, sukhasana, like the crisscross applesauce. If you have a block and you want to just sit on a block. Close the eyes down. Just begin to notice your breath. Notice the pace of your breath. Notice the thickness of your breath. Is it thin or thick? Hot? Cold, shallow or deep. And when the mind starts to drift into the future, into the past, 
right. into your to-do list for the day. Bring your attention back to your breath. The only thing that's left to do from here is to take the bhasana. If you would like to stay in your seated meditation, if you're all primed and seated, I might offer that you consider staying in your meditation. And if the body is calling for savasana, then I would encourage you to listen and to lay down and to find savasana. everyone who showed up right at 10 and stuck with us through the challenges of going live and my internet connection and all the little sillies um thank you for staying and for being patient um to those that i know thank you so much for showing up and and joining me and to those i've never met um, i hope that we can connect in person and um when they meet on the path okay thank you yoga moves us Namaste. So you don't see his butt to say that, but maybe it just does, you know? Okay. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> I'm just gonna.